So Oscar De La Hoya lost to the nuisance lawsuit versus Al Heyman. And it was a nuisance lawsuit. First of all, you have to understand, Al Heyman had already paid Oscar De La Hoya. Al Heyman made a payment to get uh, most of his boxers released from Golden Boy. The ones he had under contract, he made a payment. Al Heyman then made another payment to have the rest of the boxers he advised released from Golden Boy. Al Heyman is rumored to pay $13 million to get his boxers released from Golden Boy. Golden Boy only makes $9 million. So Heyman paid Golden Boy more than what they make in a year. And, and Oscar De La Hoya accepted. So Oscar accepted payment and then sued. You can't do that. That's like get into a car accident and you accept payment from somebody and then you turn around and sue them. So in the first place, this, this lawsuit was ridiculous. And if Dan Raphael, Steve Kim, if any of these guys were honest, they would have talked about how stupid this lawsuit was. And the second part of it is, Richard Schaefer was running Golden Boy. Oscar De La Hoya was in and out of rehab and cross-dressing. Those are facts. The pictures are there. The in and out of rehab is there. Richard Schaefer now owns his own company called Ringstar. He is running, promoting the Frampton versus Santa Cruz fight this Saturday. He promoted Mares versus Pular. Guess what? He promoted those fights from Al Heyman Advice Fighters without contracts for him. Oscar was claiming that Al Heyman and Schaefer were trying to screw him over because Schaefer was putting on fights without contracts. But guess what? Oscar De La Hoya is gone. He's not part of Ringstar in any way. And Schaefer is acting the exact same way because he feels the money from those fights is more important than contracts. You know, I do feel like Richard Schaefer has gotten a bad rap. He wanted to do what was best for Golden Boy while Oscar De La Hoya was cross-dressing, doing drugs, getting DUI. You know, just embarrassing himself. And you can say, you know, Richard Schaefer screwed over Oscar. But the fact that he is continuing the same business practices when he has nothing, he has nobody to screw. Ringstar is his. And he's acting the exact same way. That tells me that he did not screw over Oscar by not putting the guys under contract. He felt that was the biggest way to get Golden Boy profit. So that's the thing. That's the thing. You know, you know, hopefully Oscar can move on and, you know, quit being a racist. But, you know, we'll have to see.